Our ZFlash tool provides three different methods for updating firmware on Z-Wave devices. In this video, I'm going to use the secondary controller method to update a batch of three different home seer wall switches. The first step will be to launch ZFlash and to initialize the Z-Wave interface that ZFlash is going to use to update the firmware. So open the interface menu, select the appropriate interface. In this case, I'm using a SmartStick Plus. SmartStick Plus works with a COM port setting. Make sure you choose the right COM port setting. And then once you've done that, click the Enable button. It takes just a few moments to initialize the interface. Once that's done, switch to HS3, go to the Plugins menu, drop down to Z-Wave, and choose Controller Management. On the Controller Management page, expand the primary Z-Wave interface. In this case, I'm using a ZNet and select Send Network Information to Another Controller, then click the Start button. Okay, now switch back to ZFlash and click the button that says Add to or Remove from Existing System. A warning message will pop up. Go ahead and click through that. And what's going to happen now is ZFlash is going to import the information from the ZNet into the SmartStick Plus. And at the end of that process, it's going to build a list of all the devices in the home that are eligible for firmware updates. That's what you're seeing in the list right now. Now I'm going to choose three different home CR wall switches and tick the check boxes in the first column. When you do this, make sure the device ID number matches or you'll get an error message. Now open up the file menu, choose the firmware you wish to update to, and click the Start Update button. This process normally takes several minutes per device, so if you have a number of devices selected, this might be a good time to go grab a cup of coffee or have some lunch. I'm speeding things up here in the interest of time so you don't have to suffer through the entire process. Okay, the final step is going to be to remove ZFlash from the primary system as a secondary controller. So go back to the Actions menu, select Remove or Exclude a node, and then press the Start button. Switch over to ZFlash, click the Add to Remove From button again, and again click through that warning prompt that comes up. At this point, the process is pretty automatic, and it should only take a few moments to finish. If you have any questions, contact Homesteer for help. Thanks for watching.